recap movie here today I want to explain the movie Knives Out. This video contains spoilers, be careful and enjoy. On his 85th birthday, rich crime writer Harlan Thrombey invites his large family to his far-off home to deliver important but upsetting news to several family members. Fran, Harlan's housekeeper, finds him dead in his study the following morning. The police are brought in, along with veteran private investigator Benoit Blanc. Secrets and possible motives for murder are exposed through a series of interviews with family members. Harlan's son-in-law, Richard, was found to have cheated on his wife Linda, Harlan's daughter, and Harlan threatened to expose him. Harlan exposed Joni, Harlan's daughter-in-law and the wife of his deceased son Neil, after she stole $400,000 from him, by directing duplicate checks meant for her daughter, Megan, to a private bank account. During the birthday party, Harlan's youngest son, Walter, was sacked from his father's publishing company. Ransom, Linda and Richard's son, had realized that he had been completely left out of the will. Then it is revealed that Marta Cabrera, who looked over Harlan after the celebration, took him upstairs to get his bedtime prescription. Harlan started to play a game of Go, but before Marta could give him his medicine, he humorously knocked the board off the table. After giving him an injection, Marta realized she had given him 100 milligrams of morphine by accident. To protect his companion, Harlan instructed her on how to flee and avoid suspicion before cutting his own throat, shocking Marta. Marta then drove away, parked her car, and returned to the house through the gate entrance. Before climbing up the trellis on the side of the house and wearing Harlan's coat and hat to mislead Walter, who had seen Marta leave and thus ruled her out as a suspect. Marta is questioned by the police since she is a reliable source due to her inability to lie without vomiting, yet she successfully completes her interview. Blanc is desperate to discover the true reason of death because she suspects foul involvement. The following day, Blanc, Marta, and the police explore the house and its surrounds for clues, many of which Marta is able to conceal before the detectives discover them. The day of Harlan's will reading arrives, and the family is stunned to see that Harlan left everything to Marta, including his inheritance, the house, and his firm. Despite Marta's goodwill the night before, the family swiftly turns on her, but Ransom assists her in escaping. Ransom and Marta then travel to a nearby restaurant, where Ransom persuades Marta to tell him everything. The family members are aware that they will receive their inheritance back. If Marta's guilt as the murderer can be established, they insist that the investigation into the murder continue, and Blanc reiterates his suspicion of foul play while stating that anyone may still be a suspect. This results in Marta receiving a partial photocopy of Harlan's toxicology report and a ransom note that says, I know what you done. Marta and Ransom drive to the medical examiner's office only to discover it in flames and surrounded by cops. Marta opens her email at Ransom's request and finds an address and time. Blunt notices the duo before they engage in a car chase. But Marta and Ransom are ultimately unable to elude their pursuers. Before Ransom is caught at the house after Winetta, Harlan's mother and the family's old matriarch, falsely recognized Marta as him. Marta arrives at the address to discover Fran drugged. Fran is safely transported to the hospital, thanks to Marta's CPR efforts and police phone call. Marta tells Blanc everything on the way back to the mansion, and Blanc counsels her against telling the family. Blanc advises her to stop just in time. Though, after he discovers something in a copy of the complete toxicology report that Fran had secreted away, Ransom is brought to the house by the police and placed in a secluded room where Blanc and Marta are waiting. Blanc admits that he deduced the murder and proceeds to tell everything he knows. Ransom stormed away the night of the party after finding Marta's fortune from Harlan and intended to frame her for his murder. Ransom changed the pharmaceutical bottle contents and deleted the emergency morphine counter agent, ensuring the morphine overdose. While the rest of the family was at Harlan's funeral, Ransom switched the vials back. That day, Fran saw Ransom in Harlan's study and deduced his involvement in Harlan's death, prompting her to send him the Ransom letter, which Ransom then forwarded to Marta after removing the address. Ransom then set fire to the medical examiner's office in order to destroy Harlan's blood work. Ransom confronted Fran and drugged her with morphine, nearly killing her. 
Before destroying the original copy of the toxicology report and emailing Marta Fran's location in the hopes of convincing police that Marta had murdered Fran, the toxicology analysis later indicates that Harlan wasn't poisoned at all and Marta had naturally administered the right prescription to Harlan but was unaware of the error due to the mislabeling. When Marta calls from the hospital to let them know Fran is alive, Ransom is forced to confess and then aggressively threatens Marta with legal action. Marta vomits on Ransom at the last time, admitting that she lied and that Fran died in the hospital. Ransom, enraged that he was duped into committing murder and arson, tries to kill Marta, but the knife turns out to be one of Harlan's numerous props. He is subsequently arrested as the rest of the family looks on in disdain. As Ransom is led away, the remaining thrombies glance up to the mansion's balcony and see Marta sipping from Harlan's characteristic coffee cup, which has the words, my house, my rules, my coffee printed on it. Subscribe and leave me a comment for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.